Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas day number four. Y'all, I'm trying this Vlogmas thing out. This is my first time doing Vlogmas on this channel. So, uh, I would appreciate if you guys support me, keep me motivated by liking all of my videos. Make sure you subscribe so that you're not missing out on any content that I post on this channel. So, today we are going to be talking about uh six tips that i think are important to get you through uh, certification class certification class let's talk about it because some of you guys are actually going to be starting your certification class soon with the arise program i get a lot of views on these type of videos so i think you guys enjoy the content and it's been a while since I posted anything about Arise. Um, I don't know how long it's been. It's probably about a month or so. But anyway, so I thought I would come in and do a little bit something different today. And instead of talking about uh, what Arise is about, what they have to offer, and how you can get on board, um, instead of going through all that, what I'll do is for my new viewers, I will put a card up above I have a playlist of working from home, whether it's on uh, one of these platforms, like what I just mentioned, or um, offline ways to make money. So anyway, um, yeah, so like I was saying, there's a lot of you that are going to be starting your certification classes soon, and I know that that nervousness is kicking in, and you're kind of wondering, asking yourself, man, am I even going to make it through it? It just sounds so intense, you know? Um, well, I am here to say, yes, girl, you're going to make it through it. We're going to make sure you get through that certification class, okay? Because there's some things that you need to know that will actually help you be successful in your certification class. And these are just some basic tips, but I thought that I would share them with you. And this is all based on my personal experience. I have been working with the Arise platform now for three years. And I've done two certification classes um, with two separate clients. So <clears throat> I feel that I've gained enough experience to at least share these basic general tips with you guys to kind of, um, you know, give you a different perspective on how to get through this so that it's not so overwhelming for you guys, okay? Um, so, like I said before, if you're new to this channel and you don't have a clue what I'm talking about, just click on that little card above there, take a look at my playlist, and you will know exactly what we are talking about today, okay? We're talking about the Arise Virtual Solutions platform. So, um, yeah, so anyway, you've all gotten through, uh, you know, you chose the client that you're going to be working for, your class starts soon. And you're kind of a little bit worried, like, oh, am I going to make it? So let me give you guys six tips that I was able to come up with from personal experience that I think it would help everybody, no matter what certification class you take, okay? Um, and I actually have this as a blog post on my website. So if you guys haven't been able to check out my website, it's fairly new. So there's not like a whole lot of content on there. But if you need a visual of what I'm going to be talking about today. I do have a blog post. It's called Six Help Helpful Tips that will successfully get you through certification courses with the Arise Virtual Solutions platform. Um, I posted it about a month ago, so you guys go check it out if you need a visual. Um, but we're going to just jump right into this thing here because it's really not uh, meant to be like a long video because these are really just some simple tips. Um, so let's talk about attendance and being on time, which is probably going to be the most important, um, along with the other five tips that I have. So attendance is really important, you guys. You are, just keep in mind, you are making an investment when you are, um, when you decided to sign up for a certification class. So you definitely want to make sure that you're there every single day. Um, like I have expressed before in past videos, you do receive a whole lot of information all at once. Um, and so it can be a little bit overwhelming if you miss a couple of days and then you go back to class and, you know, they've kind of moved on and then you've, you're behind, you know what I mean? So when you miss a class or two, it is very, very easy for you to get behind on not only the information, but your coursework as well, because you are given homework and stuff, which we're going to move on to that tip here in a little bit. But yeah, definitely attendance and being on 
time for class is going to be very important. That is going to be um, considered as far as if you move on through your certification class or not. Um, if you're if you miss so many days or if you fall behind on any work that you're given, you do um, put yourself at risk for being dropped from the certification class. And we definitely don't want that to happen because, again, you invested in yourself to take this class. Right. OK, so um, with that being said, being on time is another important part, because here's the thing. Each instructor operates a little bit differently okay some instructors they'll kind of wait about five or six minutes or so to see you know give everyone time to log into the classroom and then there are some that start right on the dot when the class starts they jump right into the information so if you are always logging into class about five or six minutes late um, there is that chance that you've missed five or six minutes worth of information that you need to know, okay? So you definitely want to do that. Um, I do stress in past videos that when you are looking at these opportunities that you click on that info button so that you can see when the class actually starts and for how long and the dates and so on. So with that being said, you want to pick something that you are going to be able to commit to. Now, we all have a life outside of, um, you know, doing this. So, of course, there's going to be things that come up that you didn't necessarily plan for. However, if, by you know, try your best to make it to every single class and be on time so that you're not falling behind, okay? Because it's very easy to do. All right, so the next tip that I would suggest is to take a lot of notes. Um, I, in my certification classes, I just used a plain old notebook. You can actually stock up on these around back to school time. They're like, they mark them down to like 20 cents or four for a dollar. Get you a whole bunch of them because you're going to be using them often, okay? You're going to be going through them. Like this one, I'm on my last... Uh, I even use the back side before I switch over to another notebook. So you're definitely going to be using them. Um, uh, so yeah, and you're going to be taking a lot of notes because you're going to be given a lot of general information about the client that you chose, system information, general policies, um, different spills that you're going to have to use. It just depends on the client. But you're going to have a lot of information, so you guys take notes, take notes, take notes. I can't stress that enough. Um, these notes will not only help you while you're in class, but they will also help you on your homework. They will help you on your modules, and they will also help you on assessments, okay? And just to get deeper into it, they will also help you after you've certified with your class, okay? I use notes from when I was in class all the time, or I did in the beginning until I got the hang of it, okay? So I was always looking back at notes that I had um, when I first started taking live calls as a refresher. So you definitely want to take really, really good notes. You know, don't just scribble some stuff down. Organize your notes. Write legibly so that when you go back, even if it's a month later, you'll know what you wrote, you know, and you'll understand why you wrote it and what it's um, tied with, okay? So those are the most uh, top six tips that I have for you, okay? So attendance being on top excuse me, attendance, being on time, and taking notes. So let's go into number three. Um, ask questions. Now, when I was in school, high school, I was the type of person, as you guys know in my yesterday's video, I had shared with you that I was an introvert. So I'm not the type of person that will just, you know, well, I used to be the type of person where if I had a question, I would kind of wait until somebody else asked it, and then I would get my answer that way. Don't do that, girl. If you got a question, ask a question, okay? Never, when, like I said, you're investing in yourself, okay? So do not shy away from asking questions. Even if you hear irritation in the instructor's voice, ask your question, girl, because at the end of the day, you invested in yourself, and I'm probably going to say that several times throughout this video, you invested in yourself, 
And at the end of the day, it's up to you to make sure you understand the information, okay? The instructors, they're there to give you the information, but it's on you to retain the information, okay? So you definitely want to ask questions. I don't care if you're asking the same exact question every single class, girl. If you don't get it, then you just don't get it. There is nothing to be embarrassed about because at the end of the day, you are making sure that you get the information, okay? So yeah, definitely ask questions. Um, don't be that girl that waits for somebody else to ask the question because it may never get asked and then you'll just still be wondering what the answer is, okay? All right, so number four is practice and you're going to be doing a lot of this when you're in certification class and um, the more you do it, the more comfortable you will get with the information, especially your script. Um, because this script is what you're basically going to be saying every time you accept an incoming call, okay? So you definitely want to get familiar with it. I know that when I was in certification class, we did role playing, which a lot of you will be doing as well. And then there were a few ladies that created groups outside of the class that we could go to outside of class hours to practice and role play with or ask any questions or, you know, whatever, whatever additional help we needed outside of class, because, you know, you're only in class for so, so much time. I think it's like four hours or so, depending on the client. So a lot of the times, you know, once you get out of class, life goes on. But if you really just want to get the information, I would suggest you to practice it, you know, practice your scripts, play around with the systems if, um, if the instructor you know gives you that capability if you're allowed to i know with the client that i had we were able to play around with the system a little bit and try to get you know kind of get familiar with everything in class and outside of class so you definitely want to practice if anyone in your class has created like a facebook group where you can go in and do some practicing then take advantage of it okay because the more you do it the more comfortable you'll be with it okay um, so tip number five, we're going to be talking about homework, modules, and assessments. So everyone is going to get this. Everyone is going to have self-paced work before you actually get to class. Some of you, a lot of you are going to have self-paced homework once you're in the class. And then there's going to be modules um, that you'll have to do that'll be assigned by the instructor outside of class, during the time outside of class, right? And then you'll have assessments. Um in layman's terms, test, okay? So going back to taking notes, those notes will help you with this. Um, if you're taking really good notes, then like I said, it's something that you can go back and refer to, to your homework, um, even with your modules and your assessments. Um, so make sure you're doing those because a lot of this is instructor assigned and it is required, okay? So don't think that you're gonna be able to certify without having to do any homework, modules, or assessments because you will not certify, okay? That is part of one of the require requirements for you to certify through the class is doing these modules and assessments and doing your homework and stuff, okay? So definitely do those, turn them in on time so that you don't fall behind because again, like I said earlier in the video, you will fall behind if you don't stay on track with this stuff, okay? If you're not going to class, you're not doing your homework, you're not doing your assessments, you won't be lost when you go to class, okay? Because a lot of times the homework is a, a pre-briefing of what you're actually going to be learning in class the next day, okay? So do that, turn them in on time, get the grades that you need to get on them so that you can move forward, and you're not putting yourself at risk for being dropped from the class, again, you won't receive a refund, okay? So last but not least, let's talk about staying motivated, you guys. I know that with life, sometimes it's hard to stay motivated, but this is what helped me stay motivated about this is because I had a kid to take care of. That was my motivation. 
Um, my motivation to get through certification class was remembering that once I got through the step one, then I can move on to the last step and go on about my business and start making my money and working, okay? So stay motivated, you know, try not to let outside life, um, outside life, uh, distract you from your goal with what you're trying to do because hopefully when you started doing this you had a goal you had a reason that you were doing this so let that reason or that goal be your motivation okay so stay motivated and always stay ready to learn do not go into these classes even if you've worked for this particular client before and you you know gave it a break and you're coming back even if you've done these certification classes before for the same client don't think that you know everything, okay? Because stuff changes all the time. And you will see what I mean once you certify and start taking live calls. The learning don't stop, y'all. Um, the client that I'm currently with, we have to do certification, uh, upskill, self-paced work all the time when something new happens or when there's a change in a policy or when they've partnered with a, a, a new company or something. So you're going to always be learning and you need to stay ready to learn, okay? <sighs> All right. <laughs> Y'all, that was a lot. But I'm really passionate about this because um, my initial goal for sharing this information, like you said, was never about the money. I don't get paid to share any of this information with you guys. And even if I did, I would still same this, share the same information the same type of way. Um, so I just want you guys to be successful because, man, no one likes throwing money out the window. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I decided to actually make a video version of these steps versus telling you guys to just keep going to my blog and looking at it but the visual is there if you need to go to the blog to kind of look um i just did like a nutshell got straight to the points of those different six tips but i go into it or elaborate it on it a little bit more in my blog so you guys go and check that out oh gosh thank you guys so much for visiting my channel oh my gosh i'm seeing the growth and i am so appreciative of you guys um, this is definitely something that I do that is out of my comfort zone. So it is so awesome to see that I'm getting you guys the support out there. Um, continue to support this channel. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow on the next video. Okay? Bye.